Hello, Internet. We're back here in the not blockbuster category of box office predictions. And now we have what will likely be some counter programming to Detective Pikachu, and that's The Hustle. Admittedly, I know nothing about this movie because I generally don't care about this movie. But I do know it stars Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson. And it's a crime, it's a heist film. So that's all I know. So let's go over its pros and cons. Uh, pros, it is a female comedy. You know, female comedies historically again they do well against the big blockbusters a good example of this is back in 2011 which was a long time ago you know the second weekend of you know the first thor it had to do with bridesmaids bridesmaids was a smash success successfully counter programmed it ended up having one of the biggest totals of the summer you know domestically This movie's not going to be a Bridesmaids, okay? It's hard to replicate something like Bridesmaids. You know, that type of, you know, film. So, let's go over the cons besides the whole not being Bridesmaids thing. Why am I even talking? It's not even going to be Bridesmaids. not even in the same real genre. That was a wedding. Wedding movies tend to be popular. But heist movies... Well, heist movies are technically popular if they're done right. Let's look at the cast. Uh, Anne Hathaway, sure she has an Oscar, but she's not exactly a strong pull at the box office. You know her track record isn't the greatest. I mean, the only th- movies that she's really had. Let me see. There was the Princess Diary movies. There was Le- Les Mis. Obviously, that's where she won her Oscar. There was uh, Devil Wears Prada. Uh, she was in Ocean's 8 last year. Actually, let's look at her history. That way I have a better understanding. Oh, she was in Interstellar, but that was more of the Matthew McConaughey show. But, you know, she was also in The Intern, which did pretty decent. But, yeah, like, if she's not in a blockbuster... Oh, man. Her record is rough. And we have such, you know, classics as... Well, Allison or Looking Glass, she was a supporting player. Serenity, oh yeah, with also Matthew McConaughey. That bombed big time. That was a colossal failure. And, uh, you know, some of our movies that are mostly about her don't usually do as well. She, her, The movies she does require, like, a strong co-lead. By her, and, you know, Rebel Wilson, she has her fans, but she's also not a huge draw. I mean... Isn't it romantic? Didn't do big numbers. Neither did How to Be Single. I mean, you know, the Pitch Perfect movies did well. Well, at least the first two. The third kind of really took a dive from the second. But that was going to happen regardless. But. And also, like, I know. Wait a minute. What's. I don't know what this poster says. Yeah, I don't know much about the plot of the movie. I am hoping it's not one of those female movies that's, like, super over-empowering women, like, to the extreme and becoming a woke fest. No one wants that. And if that's the case, no one's going to watch this movie. I hope they're not going that route. So if anyone has seen the trailers, please tell me, is this movie a woke movie? Please. I'd like to know. If it is, this movie's going to bomb hard. But if it's not, it has a, a, uh, a better chance at succeeding. So, predictions. Opening weekend. Um, if it's like the... If it turns out to be an unappealing, woke film, then it's going to open under $10 million And it's going to have a short life in theaters. But if it's not, if it actually has something then it could open in the mid-teens, like between 10 and 15, and just do moderate. Either way, this movie's not going to make much money. I mean, like, May, compared to previous years, this this May is freaking cutthroat. It is vicious. Because <laughs> you have a lot of 
medium films and a lot of big films battling it out. And it makes things more exciting, but it also makes things more difficult, you know, for the for the movies in question. So yeah, that's the hustle. Uh, next up, we have a dog movie, uh, a dog's journey. That'll be the next up on the list. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. Want to check out some other box office predictions? I made some playlists: the blockbusters and the not blockbusters. Uh, other than that, uh, that is all, and I am out.